An attitude of self-defense is great, but you need the skills and the plan to go with it. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of England. Here we're gonna see an armed robbery and a clerk that's just not willing to give it up. Gonna learn some important lessons here about what to fight for and when, about how to use environmental weapons and when to call it good and just get out of the danger zone. So what we're gonna see here is our armed robber comes in right away, you can see him, he has that knife in his right hand, held at his side, he's got a mask on and his hood up, thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. Gonna go and try to find the clerk and intimidate him and beat him up a little bit. So the clerk's gonna try to get out of the way, but the bad guy's able to get there as well. And now they got just like a fight in a phone booth here. That Imagine how scary that has to be with this clerk in the blue sweater here, fighting this armed robber who has a knife and is trying to kill him with it right here. And nowhere he can go, he can't run, he's got to fight. And, and you can see him here having this close grappling fight. And I can just hear all my jiu-jitsu friends calling out what they would do. We'll talk about that in a minute. But just to see how long this grappling fight goes on. And you can see him trying to get the knife into another hand here. Our defender pokes him in the eyes. That was a pretty good strategy. And then takes his, his uh, um, mask off. And so the guy's going to spend some time putting his hood up so that he's at least kind of somewhat hidden and and the defender takes that time to go grab a wine bottle and so now it's a knife versus wine bottle fight which I think that's the first time I've ever seen that combination and I do notice here that what it is at this point is not necessarily what we traditionally call defensive encounter but a fight as they're kind of squared off on each other and neither one of them really knows what to do at this point so he's going to throw some greeting cards at him and and now the guy's going to hit, hit him with the wine bottle and it's going to go to the ground and I mean I don't know how many times the clerk was stabbed there as the guy came at him. Now we have an entangled fight on the ground and the, the clerk's trying to get his back, actually has his back right there and at least one arm around his neck trying to control the knife. And this is how long these things go. It just boggles my mind how much time this takes. And, and you know, holding someone against their will is not easy. So you can see the armed robber here is going to get out of this. He's gonna to try to wiggle out and, and give up his sweater to do so. So that's great for the security cameras. You know, they're gonna be able to see all his tattoos and stuff. I think the news story says that they actually caught this guy. And finally, the clerk's able to get away from him and get out the door and end the threat. And thankfully, at this point, this one's over. Now, I wanna learn a few lessons. Number one, it's interesting to me that this door opens inward. In the States, um, all exterior doors have to open outward for fire code, but that's not the case everywhere. So you gotta know if your doors are opening in or out. If they'd open out, he just busted out the door and be gone, but he can't do that here, so he stuck himself in a corner. If you get stuck in a corner like that, you gotta learn how to fight, because that's what he's gonna have to do here. Next, this is an entangled standing fight. So again, this is one where grappling skills, wrestling skills, jiu-jitsu skills, judo skills are gonna come to mind. But very particularly here, the five Ds are incredibly important. You have an armed attacker and you're not armed yourself. So he's deflected and is trying to dominate the hand with the knife in it. But one of the things that I want you to see here is first of all, how hard that is. But second of all, if you don't move on to the next steps, you can see here that the armed robber keeps trying to slide the knife from one hand to the other. Now, next what we're gonna see is the defender do something very good here. I don't think he wants to just grab his mask there, but he's trying to poke him in the eyes. He's trying to distract him and, and get him to have some pain by grabbing a hold of his face, and it does exactly what he needs. Now he's got a moment here. I gotta say that as a self-defender, I wouldn't have wasted that moment. I'd have kicked that guy in the face just with everything I had or done something to take the initiative to go on the offense to start to end this threat. But at least he's thinking here, and I love that he goes and grabs something. He doesn't have a great tool. He doesn't have a gun. This is in England, so they're not allowed to have those things, but at least he grabs a wine bottle. So now what we have here is a fight. You see the guy with the knife now is not as confident as he was. He's like, whoa, this guy can fight a little bit, and if he hits me with that wine bottle, it's gonna suck. Don't know what he did there jumping up if he was trying to you know, activate the fire sprinklers or what. But now it's a fight, and you can see him that now trying to guard the knife, and, and I love how the, the good guy here even stuffs him trying to throw that thing at him. But you notice that he was able to stop the attack, the overhead, with the wine bottle, and because he was able to stop it, now that guy was apt for a couple of stabs as well. Now he's got his back here, and man, having some skills from the top position could have saved this guy an awful lot. Very difficult with a resisting opponent, especially one with a knife, but knowing how to control an arm, especially head and arm control here, get this guy on the ground, get some dominance, man, some grappling skills would have taken him a long way. But thankfully here, at least he's not getting stabbed because he's got dominance on the knife hand, but I do want to notice as a ground fighter, as somebody who's getting in those, you know, the clothes are going to wiggle off and, and thankfully he uses the opportunity to get away from the guy. And you know what? De-escalation, escape and avoidance, getting out of there is incredibly wise. 
got him out of that fight. So let's learn some lessons here about having the awareness to know how to defend yourself, having some grappling skills, knowing how to practice those five Ds, and getting out of the danger zone as fast as you can to cover your ASP.